Welcome back to CBS This Morning. A popular home test to screen for colon cancer has been followed by an unexpected medical bill for some people, leading to concerns they may put off life-saving care. We're investigating this as part of our series Medical Price Roulette in collaboration with Clear Health Costs. Colon cancer can be highly treatable if it's caught early, and colonoscopies are provided at no cost to most people over 45. Our consumer investigative correspondent, Anna Werner, joins us. Anna, good morning. Good morning, Anthony. You may have seen this home test in TV commercials, a product called Cologuard, advertised as a way to screen for colon cancer at home instead of through the much more involved process of colonoscopy. Now, experts say the test is a good screening tool, but some people say after using it, they were faced with a high bill. You're clearly someone who takes care of yourself, so why wait to screen for colon cancer? You may have seen these frequent commercials for Cologuard, a mail-in colon cancer screening kit that tests stool for blood and other abnormalities. Tell me more. I had seen the commercial for, you know, a couple of years probably. 55-year-old Leanne Bryant of Missouri was intrigued. I thought, hey, this screening at home that I can do sounds pretty easy compared to full-blown colonoscopy. So in August, she called her insurance company. They said yes, they would be fully covered because I didn't want to be caught with, you know, an like unexpected bill. She sent in her sample and waited for an email with her results. To her surprise, the test came back positive. I could have a polyp. I could have colon cancer. She needed a colonoscopy after all. To her relief, it was normal. But then the bills started arriving. I start getting statements from my hospital saying that I have a balance of $1,900. $1,900? Yes, I'm thinking, well, I certainly don't owe that much. I mean, that, that's not possible. But it was. Under the Affordable Care Act, only routine screening tests are covered. Because Bryant's Cologuard result was positive, her colonoscopy was coded as an uncovered diagnostic test. Turns out her insurance company refused to fully cover her because she used Cologuard first. I am mad because I pay so much every month for this insurance. I just feel like I'm really getting raked over. CBS News surveyed 11 of the largest health insurers in the U.S. to see what they would do in situations like Bryant's. Seven didn't respond. The four who did told us that coverage decisions vary, and how much a consumer will pay depends on how doctors code the colonoscopy procedure. Unfortunately, in some cases, people with a positive non-invasive test like Cologuard will have to pay out of pocket to get their colonoscopy. The University of Michigan's Dr. Mark Fendrick, who studies medical pricing problems, worries when people find out their colonoscopies might not be covered, they won't get them, even with a risk of having colon cancer. The fact that the people who are deemed to be at higher risk, that it's not easy financially or otherwise to get the colonoscopy, makes absolutely no sense to me. So what does the manufacturer of Cologuard have to say? Exact Sciences CEO Kevin Conroy agrees there's a problem. If one person gets a bill associated with screening, it's one person too many. But after we started asking questions, Conroy says the company decided it needed to add new language to its website, saying although millions of patients have access to this follow-up colonoscopy with no out-of-pocket costs, not all do. You raising this helped us, it helped highlight what we can do better, and so we're always looking for ways to improve. I'm Cologuard. But we noticed that those frequent TV ads, although noting that the Cologuard cost itself is covered by most insurance, don't mention that a follow-up colonoscopy may not be covered. Could you add something to the television ads, which are what most people see, just to give them a heads up about a potential unexpected bill? We think what we're doing is so appropriate. If what you do is scare people away from getting screened altogether, there is a significant cost associated with that. Leanne Bryant says she wishes those ads had given her some warning. I don't want to say it's a sham, but in a way, it's just kind of taking advantage of people. Um, if it happened to me, I, I know that it's going to happen to a lot of people. Researcher Fendrick says any problems with the ads wouldn't matter if the entire colon cancer screening process was required to be covered by insurance. I'm hopeful that your story will not only raise awareness among your watchers, but also among the payers for them to see how really irrational that policy is. 
Well, Coligard does have a program to help people file an appeal if they do get that unexpected bill for a follow-up colonoscopy. Bryant, by the way, finally won her appeal with her insurance company to get her $1,900 bill paid, but it took her five months to get it resolved. Mm. And we want to hear from other people, guys, by the way. Uh, health costs at cbsnews.com. If you have a medical billing uh, story to tell us, please email me. Yeah. Definitely. It's amazing what happens when Anna Werner calls. Yeah. Things change. <laughs> $1,900 is a lot when you're not expecting it. I'm glad it it's is. worked out for her. Yeah, and colonoscopies, those bills can be really high. Yeah, they, they oftentimes can. are two or $3,000. So it's not an insignificant cost for a lot of people. We get a lot of emails about colonoscopies. Yes, I've had one of those or two or three. Highly recommended. Thank you, Hannah.